Microsoft 365 versus Google Workspace, which productivity suit is best. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a comparison review between Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So to create an account on Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace, you can use the link in the description below, in which by using the links, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. And now, let's start first by knowing this platform, Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. So basically, Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace are two used productivity suits that provide a variety of applications for creating, managing, and sharing types of content. So basically, Microsoft 365 is a service provided by Microsoft that you can subscribe to, in which it gives you an access to a range of tools and services for productivity, collaboration, and cloud-based tasks. This includes applications like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, as well as other helpful tools such as OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and SharePoint. And with Microsoft 365, you have the flexibility to work, learn, collaborate, connect with others, and create content from using any device. On the other hand, Google Workspace is a package of cloud-based tools created and offered by Google in which it comprises Gmail, Contacts, Calendar, Google Meet, and Chat for communication, and also Currents for posturing employee engagement drive for storage purposes, and a Google Docs editor suit for content creation. And whether you need it for professional use, Google Workspace offers subscription plans tailored to cater to diverse user requirements. And this service empowers users to work, learn, collaborate, connect with others, and create content effortlessly from any location and on any device. And you can access Google Workspace through its website or by using the Google Workspace app across various platforms. And now that we know the overview of both platforms, Let's now proceed to the comparison of the feature that both platforms offer. So basically, Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace offer different kind of feature in terms of word processing, spreadsheet, presentation, email, video conference, note-taking, file storage, file sharing, and many more. So in terms of word processing, Microsoft 365 offer a Microsoft Word, Word Desktop, and web page. Well, in terms of spreadsheet, Microsoft 365 offer Excel for also desktop and web page. Well, in terms of presentation, it offers a PowerPoint for desktop and web page. Well, in terms of email, it offers Outlook, which is also available on desktop, web, and mobile. While video conferencing, it offers the Microsoft Teams, which is also available on desktop, web, and mobile. While for note taking, it offers OneNote which is also available on desktop, web, and mobile. Well, in terms of file storage, it offers OneDrive. And aside from that, in terms of security, it offers encryption, multi-factor authentication, data loss prevention, advanced threat protection, and compliance tools. On the other hand, Google Workspace feature in terms of word processing, spreadsheet, presentation, email, video conferencing, note-taking, file storage, and many more is that in terms of word processing, it offers Google Docs, which is available web page, while Spreadsheet, it offers Google Sheets, that is only available on web page and also on mobile app. While in terms of presentation and email, it offers Google Slides and also Gmail, which is available also on web page and mobile phone. While in terms of video conferencing, it offers Google Meet, while note-taking is the Google Keep, and also, in terms of file storage feature, it offers Google Drive as its file storaging app. Now, in terms of security, it offers encryption, multi-factor authentication, data loss prevention, advanced protection program, security, center, and compliance tools, which is also the same as the Microsoft 365. Now, moving on to the pricing plans that both platform offer, starting from this Microsoft and below here, it will show you the plan including the basic, standard, premium, and Microsoft 365 apps for business plan. 
and below here, you will see the corresponding prices and list of benefits it included on each plan. And as you can see, the cheaper plan they offer is the Microsoft Business Basic amounting to $6 per user per month. While the most expensive is the Microsoft 365 Business Premium amounting to $22 per user per month. While on the other hand, Google Workspace offer three main pricing plans, which is the Business Starter, Business Standard, and Business Plus, in which the Business Starter amounting to $5.40 US dollars per user per month. You will get, or it include, basic features like Gmail, Google Meet, and Google Drive with 30 gig of storage, while the standard plan amounting to 10.80 US dollar per user per month, in which it also include all the features of the business starter plan and other feature, while the business plus amounting to $18 per user per month. It include all features of the business standard plan plus additional security and management features. So basically, in general, Google Workspace is generally more affordable than Microsoft 365, making it better option for smaller businesses or those on a tight budget. Now moving on to the pros and cons of using Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace starting for this Microsoft 365. The pros of using it is that it provides storage space for files offering 1 terabyte per user and it also offers a range of desktop applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and many more. And it allows for larger video calls with up to 250 users. And it also demonstrates better compatibility with other Microsoft products. Well, the cons of using it is that it comes at a price compared to Google Workspace. And it also offers limited storage for email up to 50 gig per user. And it also offers collaboration tools than Google Workspace. Well, the pros and cons of using Google Workspace is that it advantages or pros offers an option compared to Microsoft 365 in which it also provides a variety of collaboration tools including Google Chat, Google Drive, Google Workspace, add-ons, and many more. And it also focuses on simplicity and ease of use for users. And it also integrates with Google services. While the cons of using Google Workspace is that it provides less file storage space with 30 gig per user with a business starter plan. And it also includes desktop application like Docs, Sheets, Slide, and etc. While the limits video calls is up to 100 users only. But the question is, who should use this platform, Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace? Well, if you require storage space for files and access to desktop applications, Microsoft 365 would be a choice for you. Opting for Microsoft 365 is advisable if you desire features and improve compatibility with Microsoft products. And for organizations that are larger or have a complex structures which demand an increased number of users for video calls as well as enhanced security and management tools, Microsoft 365 is recommended. On the other hand, if your priority lies in having access to collaboration tools and seamless integration, with other Google services, Google Workspace would be a preferable option since Google Workspace offers simplicity and use for those seeking approach. And also it is highly adaptable organization that plays importance on affordability and flexibility. Google Workspace is a fit. And now to conclude, both Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace are widely used productivity suits that provide a set of applications for creating, organizing, and collaborating on types of content. And while they share core features, there are also some variations in terms of pricing functionality, compatibility, and security. And based on the requirements and preference of your business, you can select the suit that aligns the best with your needs. So that is just a comparison review between Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. Thank you.